is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day today here in Tampa, Florida, and today we're checking out some American coaches here at General RV. Behind me is the American Eagle. This coach has the Cummins 605, is loaded with a bunch of equipment, and is gonna be competing primarily with the Newmar King Air and the Integra Cornerstone. So let's take a closer look inside and show you what's going on. We found that. What's up, Andrew? Hey, Welcome to General Tampa. Hey, great to be here. Now, I heard this American coach is one of the nicer coaches here. Andrew, this is the nicest coach here. It's model 45K, which is the best of the best for American coach. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, you've been busy. Congratulations on your new venture. I heard that you've got a new toilet chemical that's taken over the game. It sure is. It's called Liquify. Bing! The best black tank chemical. Andrew, this morning we passed over 13,000 bottles sold, and truthfully, a big part of that is thanks to your dad wow. and your viewers. I appreciate that. Best product out there, so huge congratulations. The packaging, the way the product works, the whole package deal. Going back to this American coach, what's going on on this coach? Andrew, this is one of the nicest motorhomes that we have at the dealership. I would love to be the one to show it to you because we are good friends, but when we come to this level of motorhome, at General RV, we actually have American coach specialists, and there is nobody better than Mr. Tom Benning. Tom, good to meet you. Good to have you on the channel. What's going on with this coach? Well, the American coach is the biggest and baddest made by Rev Motorhome Group. It is a production coach, but it's got all the features and functions of your high-end vehicles that are all over out there. So I would love to tell you a little bit more about it. Yeah, I'm going to throw some hard questions okay. at you today. We're not holding back. Matt, I know you've got to run. You're going to the airport. Where are you heading, Matt? North Canton, Ohio. Breeze Airways. Tommy knows all about that. Oh, yeah. 249 first class. Hey, I like your style, <laughs> brother. I know you got to run. Nice. Great thanks. seeing you guys. Yeah, thanks for having us, Matt. Now, I want to share a few of the things that I like and don't like right out of the gate. There's two big things that I noticed immediately. But before I do that, I've got to give a huge thanks to Brooklyn Bedding, RVMattress.com for sponsoring today's video. If you're looking for a high quality mattress for your home or your motor home, RVMattress.com has you covered. They've got a 10 year warranty, 120 night sleep trial, free shipping within the continental US, and they have all different firmnesses. So if you have a bunk coach or whatever size mattress you need for your motor home, they've got you covered and then you can choose what firmness you prefer as well. I started using using a Brooklyn Bedding Aurora Firm Mattress a little over a year ago. I've been extremely impressed. I have family members that have purchased Brooklyn Bedding mattresses that are very impressed as well. Now, one of my favorite parts about Brooklyn Bedding mattresses is they're shipped directly to you in a box. They're very easy to unpackage, and you don't have to mess with going to mattress stores. You can go right to rvmattress.com and use the coupon code ANDREWSTEEL for a 25% off discount. I'll make sure to leave that in the description below. Below. So definitely worth checking out Brooklyn Bedding if you need a new mattress for your home or RV. But Tommy, what else is going on in this American coach? Yeah, it's actually a pretty unique scenario. A lot of folks were looking at the highest end vehicles out there, which you're very familiar with. We'll look at something like this as a cost-effective alternative while still getting the features that you would love to see in something high-end luxury. This American Eagle is a 45K. It has the Chill Out Seal Word Work Channel Island Decor Package, Spyglass Exterior. Great way that they tie everything together. Together. They actually have a specialist named Mindy out of Tennessee who does a great job with setting up the decor package here. What you see here is our 45K floor plan. It's got the full wall slide, the wraparound U-shaped kitchen, dual vanities in the back, big closet right there. What's the MSRP on this coach? The MSRP here is a million and 81,000. So it's over a million dollar value. Of course, with a production coach like this where we're buying them in bulk, we can have some huge discounts. So this one itself, this 2023 American Eagle is discounted over 300,000 to a sale price is $699. And I want to talk to you more too about the chassis. You guys have a chassis here at the dealership that we can take a look at. After we look through this coach, we'll do that. But I've got to show you just a few things that I really like and don't like about this coach before we start going to it. First thing that is really catching my attention when we come into this coach is this waterfall backsplash. Is that a standard option on this coach? On this floor plan, this is standard. Now, a typical RV is going to have a Corian countertop. Sometimes you'll see granite in the higher end production coaches. This is actually a Cambria Corian. It's just like you'd see in a high-end house. It's thicker, it's more dense, solid as a rock. You have some very heavy pieces covering your induction cooktop there, but it's a higher quality material for a better vehicle. The first thing that caught my eye that I don't like when I came in is on this full wall slide here, I'm seeing a little gap right here. Now, I think on the King Airs, they have like a little rubber gasket that covers that. Is this how this comes?
bombs? Is that normal? This or? is standard, and this is actually something we've talked about a great deal. What some other competitors of the American Coach line are doing is they're putting a little rubber seal that covers this piece, and it does give it a little bit of a seamless tie-in, but the trade-off is that you then have this long rubber piece that's in the middle of your floor panel. So they actually opted not to put something like that in here to try to keep the seamless nature of this tile all together. It's one of those trade-offs where it's one way or the other. I have heard some of my customers who have this vehicle say it's pretty easy to keep clean. I guess the worry is that something's going to get in there and kind of get in the way, but the little central vac or a handheld vacuum will pull things right out of there. So they've opted to stay away from it. That was my concern of maybe like a coin or kibble from dog food somehow gets stuck down there, that kind of stuff. Now, something I have seen them um, when this slide comes in, it's an HWH hydraulic slide. It lifts straight up about three inches before it starts coming in. So you can access things in there if you actually drip something coin or yeah. something Yeah, like or that even if there. a liquid spilled down in there. Well, let's talk a bit about the floor plan because I think this is definitely a great floor plan that hits all points. It's the most popular one by far. You start out in the living room here with your adjustable theater seating across from your televator with a couch pull out bed right here. So this is a great front living area. I got to try this recliner out for size here before we go through the rest of the coach. It's very comfortable. And one thing I want to point out is how large this armrest is here. You've got a little lighted cup holder. Now you also have an adjustable headrest there too. So you can move the feet out, lay it back, but you can also adjust that headrest for comfort too. That is one of my complaints. My legs are a little long right here. Can I extend this more or is that kind of where it is or? Um, it might give you a little extra space if you bring okay. that headrest back. For the taller guys, I don't know if they could extend this or not the end of the world. Now you do have the adjustable headrest inside of this side storage compartment oh, nice. there. You have a little TV tray that fits in right in front of your cup holder. Oh, nice. Big depth in your storage right here. So it's a great place to keep, you know, this or that. Same thing going on over on this side. One thing I would like to point out is the furniture itself. This is made by Apex Furniture. It's high quality stuff. It's very comfortable, lasts a long time. So even a couple years old, we've seen these come in and they're always in great shape. And then you have the matching couch uh, across from you right there. So everything kind of ties in pretty well. One other thing that I want to point out here that I really like about this motorhome is they deleted the overhead cabinets here, making this window a lot better view out of this window. I think that was very well played. We'll check out the storage as we go through the coach, but I like having that view up here. Well, the decor package here has this chill out seal wood, which is a little bit of a medium gray as opposed to the really light whites that you see so commonly nowadays. That contrasts very well with the lightness of this furniture. Usually when they go light color woodwork, you see a lot of dark furniture. I think this just makes it feel a little bit more open overall. This probably looks a little different to you guys. We found another one identical to that coach, but with different color cabinets and different color floors. This is the Sleepy Hollow interior decor with the Mindful Gray interior woodwork. So it's a different package. It's kind of flipped on itself. You got the light, more modern countertops, and you can see they're kind of high gloss too. So it's got a great look to it. And then paired with the very dark floors. This is probably our most popular decor package for the American Eagle. Really like the dark floors and light cabinets, but my suggestion to the design team at American Coach, I don't know if they're able to do that, but black hardware would look really good in this coach. It's got the silver hardware. Would they be able to switch that out? That seems like an easy enough switch. They already have the same hardware in the black stainless. I would have to agree with you on that. I think that would match your appliances and everything else very well too. And then the glass faces of the cabinets in the other coach, these are still really cool. I haven't seen that other look before, so I really like the look of the other coach too. And then the ceiling, uh, a little lighter treatment on the ceiling too, but really a nice. So this is called the Sleepy Hollow. This is Sleepy Hollow. That was Channel Island, but that refers to everything but the woodwork. The woodwork on that one was Chill Out Seal. This is Mindful Gray. They always pair those together. They nice. wouldn't put this Mindful Gray with that one because it would be almost all gray. Now the ceiling up there, really cool lighting and the woodwork. What's going on on the ceiling there? So you have three ACs here, but these are actually your air intakes and outputs. Um, they put this nice wooden piece in here that matches everything else you have with some recessed lighting, some accent lighting, but I think it adds a little bit of flair to this vehicle. One thing I like is the positioning of this. Some of the other motorhomes, when the slide rooms come in, those vents are shooting down onto the top of the slide room. So even with the slide rooms in, this is gonna cool the middle of the coach. Now sleeping up front here, do we have a pullout sleeper up here? Yes, we do. I see seat belts as well. How many seat belts in this coach? Well, you've got two on this side, two on the other side, two up front, so six all together. 
I mean, definitely not anywhere near the level of quality of a Brooklyn bedding mattress, but we will give them a pass. Like Matt says, this is not for the paying customer. Yeah, was this like a queen size bed? I think you're just shy of a queen on width, but you have the length on this one. So a lot of RV mattresses, you know how they're a little short. We call them RV queens, RV kings. This has still got some pretty good length to it. And, and I do want to point out just a little bit of room to scooch through here if you still need to navigate through the coach while that bed is out. This is very easy, effortless, and a really cool style with the stitching, kind of a different pattern than we've seen. I like the little pop-up uh, outlets and USB ports here. This elevator's really quiet. I'm not hearing it binding or anything. Nice overhead storage here, big deep storage. And then on this side too, you have power in each of your cup holders on the side, so they really have utilized all the space they can get to make sure you always have access. Okay, are these USB ports in the cup holders? Or yes, where? it is, right there. Oh, nice. You have a touchscreen panel here where you can control your motorized shades, your lights, mood yeah, let's lighting. Put the shades down. Let's just press one button. One button does all the shades, and then you can do all the blinds That's behind them the same shades. way. Yes, it's definitely nice when it gets all blacked out in here. It's a hot summer Florida day outside. Moving into the kitchen here, this wraparound is very popular. You have this fixed piece here, whereas a lot of vehicles are gonna have a pull out. When you go with the fixed piece like this, you get way better storage. So your storage within the vehicle, you have an actual drawer, as well as under storage here, that's just a lot bigger than you get in those little pull out pieces. Not to mention it allows you to have this waterfall edge, which has a great look to it. Moving around the kitchen here, you can see you have a ton of counter space. Your induction cooktop dual power here is pretty good. And I want you to hold on to that. That's that Cambria quartz I was telling yeah, you Yeah, that's super heavy. I'm noticing it doesn't have the cutting board on the other side like some of the Newmar product does, but not the end of the world. You could go to 1.7 million when you're in the new King Air. So it's a little give and take, obviously. Really nice custom sink right here. This is this Blanco piece with a built-in piece right there. All your appliances and uh, fixtures here in this black stain. So I think that complements everything else pretty well, even right here. You know, instead of being a very bright silver, I think this is a little bit softer on the eyes. Yeah, I like the black hardware. Cool face on the cabinet doors there. What's that called? That's unlike anything I've ever seen. This glass inlay, we started doing mid-year 2022, but I really think it adds a, a good look to these. We only do it in the kitchen here, so you still have um, your nice cabinets everywhere else, but a really nice touch by Mindy. Yeah, it ties in together uh, well with that backsplash and a huge sink. And then I like how the lighting below the cabinets it's kind of glowing off those high gloss tile floors. Now, are these heated tile floors? Yes, heated on um, two zone heated floors. So front to back, it does have heating separating right as you walk into the bedroom. Yep, cool. I see central vac right here, making it easy to clean. And I like this refrigerator. That's the biggest screen I've seen on the face of a refrigerator, totally residential style. Yes, all residential style here. One thing that's pretty neat as well, if I pull this piece out, it has what's called your flex drawer. So this flex drawer in the middle can be another fridge it could be another freezer a wine cooler just a unique feature to add into it there and you really don't give it up any space in your freezer so you still got a pretty good size freezer built in there alongside that flex drawer ice and water on the door with this matching black stainless as the rest of your appliances so altogether a pretty good look yeah that black stainless we're not seeing that in a lot of coaches but that's a nice look and we kind of passed by this dinette here i gotta try out these dinette chairs for size oh it looks like it is hooked in for travel in for i like travel that right now yeah that's a nice Nice little feature there. Now, will this dinette extend out at all? Yes, there's two matching chairs to these, except for they're folding chairs, so it's a little different, but this will stretch out enough okay. so you can seat four people. Just got a little latch right there. It's a heavy, heavy piece of countertop there, uh, but I like that. It's a very, I mean, you could have a meal right here and it's not a flimsy motor home table. My headroom just, I'm 6'2", and I'm not hitting my head, but it's like very cozy under here. Now this looks like it could be used as like a workstation. Or the way it's currently set up is without the workstation, but I have on a couple occasions made an adjustment to this with a drawer that folds down to be a little laptop station. So that is definitely within the range of possibilities. Overhead storage here, it's a little bit deeper here. Here. You know, I see a lot of different motorhomes, and I think that this coach is probably competing most 
with the Integra Cornerstone. The biggest advantage that I'm seeing that this has over the Cornerstone is no carpeting. I mean, is there any carpeting in this coach? No carpeting whatsoever with those hydraulic HW8 slides. So the Cornerstone is a big competitor for this vehicle and the Cornerstone still uses an electric slide system. If someone's thinking about getting an Integra Cornerstone or this American coach, why would they choose this American coach? Well, the Cornerstone's gonna be on a K3 Mountain Master chassis, whereas this is on the Liberty Bridge Foundation. So that is a modular chassis frame. I-beams instead of C-channel rails. As far as components go, there are a lot of similarities between these two chassis. You know, they're both gonna have the 605 engine, 4,000 Allison, but this has a 20,000 pound front end, independent front suspension system by Freightliner, as well as having the 24,000 pound V-Ride. So I think the Freightliner components that are a part of the Liberty Bridge are definitely an advantage. Also, this comes with Freightliner's technology. So you have the on-guard adaptive cruise control and collision mitigation. You have Freightliner's OptiView digital dash, which is very user-friendly with built-in tire pressure monitoring and um, everything being right there on your control panel. So it's a very automotive, user-friendly driving experience. Do you sell Integra coaches here at General RV as well? General RV does sell in Integra coaches up through the Cornerstone. Here at our Tampa location, we don't have the Integra products. A few of our other stores, such as the Virginia store up north in Michigan, we have them at our Illinois store. So we do have access to those products, but primarily down here in Tampa, we focus on the American Coach. Okay, cool. American Coach goes above and beyond as far as all the technology goes, as far as a built-in Wi-Fi system that allows for you to control this coach from your cell phone, not just within 100 yards, but anywhere. It's a Wi-Fi connection instead of being Bluetooth. The Firefly panels are very easy to use, very responsive. There's a modern nature to this coach, not just in technology, but in decor as well. You can see how there's a little bit less traditional look to this as it would compare to some of the Integra products, and I think that is a big upgrade. Another big difference between these two product lines are in their overall construction methods. Integra uses a lot of wood in their construction practices, so in the floor, in the walls, the roof, and their angle on that is that it has a sound barrier, so like that wood makes it a quieter coach, and I think there is some truth to that. We are right next to the interstate right now, like literally there are cars passing. So you guys can hear what we were filming next to. I mean, literally, these are parked right along the freeway, so when I said inside the coach that we're next to the freeway, you, you guys are probably picking up some of that noise right now. Even with the ACs running, I still do hear a little bit of that noise. Now, I think most RVs, you're gonna probably hear something. The we advantage that you have with the American coach, which uses an aluminum construction and then like steel in your subfloor and chassis as well, is that it's just a more reliable type of method. And if you get water in there, it's not gonna cause issues with water and wood. And then you have bead foam insulation, which is a little bit better for the vacuum bonding process. Altogether, there's some reliability components built into the American coach line that are a definite upgrade. With a full wall slide here, you've got a large opening coming into your bedroom, but we have a half bathroom. I like the black hardware. That looks really good. Now you have the matching Corian countertops in your half bath right here. There's actually some good space in there. You have a little bit of elbow room. Right. Matt's not here right now, but I'm gonna have to do the toilet test for Matt. It's got a, a Tecma toilet. Did Matt give it a pass when he reviewed this coach? He gave this one not a full pass. He gave really? it on the back a full he pass. He did not yeah. give it a full pass. I mean, I, this is gonna pass for me. I'm gonna give it the pass. I like the brush kind of black stainless for the toilet paper holder. Nice uh, window back there. I'll give this a pass in my book. And off to the side like this with a full wall slide adjacent gives you that huge hallway, which is a great upgrade. Now, part of this floor plan that brings a lot of folks to it is the excess amount of storage. This has the full closet in the back. So that allows you to have much larger and a larger number of drawers here in the bedroom. So you've got nine very large drawers, the ones in the middle being good size. You can see how everything is dovetailed in right there too. So that's just a quality feature. Some extra space there on the side, just like your cabinets in the kitchen. These are all lined in that Ozite. So it gives you a little bit better grip. It also takes some of the noise out if you have some things in your cabinets there. Then you have some hidden storage behind your TV. Oh, nice. Is there a safe tucked in back there? Yep. Yeah, you got a safe tucked in right there. Are those the uh, owner's manuals back there? Yes, it is. You got the whole book here. Plenty of reading material. Nice. Your extra keys, all that good stuff. Like how they have that. And that's a cool little kind of secret compartment. Same ceiling wood treatment. And then it looks like, a, like an articulating bed here. What's going on? Articulating bed, which will come out flat and get to about right here. Now on both sides of the bed, you have outlets with USBs and you have wireless charging stations. Up here above the bed, though, I want to point out a few things. One of them is another control panel that ties to the multiplex for the whole coach. So you can control everything without having to get out of bed. So that's a convenience thing. You do have your speakers built in right there and you actually have your temperature sensor up in here where you're going to be sleeping. 
sleeping. So that's gonna make things more comfortable because they know how to heat things the right way. You do have a CPAP built in up here. So there's power in the back. If you have a CPAP machine, it's already designed to accommodate that. And then you have what's called the camera selector. So when you flip that switch that's underneath there, your TV that's across from you will cycle through whatever you're watching and then your outside cameras as kind of a security system. So, so you can see your cameras from this panel down here? It doesn't show up on that panel. If you have this TV on though, okay. it'll show what's you can watch it on, on your, your TV. Okay, right very nice. And I see wireless charging on both sides and I do like the lighting around the slide face and the little crown molding here. And I just want to clarify, I think you said it has a built-in CPAP. It doesn't have an actual built-in CPAP machine, but built-in access for yes, CPAP. Yes, built-in CPAP access. If you look yeah. right here, it has a piece where the hoses can come through there and then an outlet behind it so that you can just plug it right in. Now, one thing that I don't know if this needs to be adjusted, but I really don't like the positioning of, of the lighting. When I open this up, it's pointing outwards. I think it should be pointing inwards. Uh, so it's kind of blinding me and I can't see inside. I think that might need to be adjusted. But then also too, like when I open this up, there's no lighting in here, which usually you're just gonna throw, you know, blankets and throw pillows. Now, I don't think the cornerstone, to my knowledge, I don't remember seeing this. I don't know if I laid down in the bed of the newer cornerstones, but do you know if the cornerstones have a panel up here like the King Air does? I, I think there's a small panel in the cornerstone, but I'm going purely off of memory. I haven't seen a, a 23 in a minute here. So okay. I don't know if they do or not. Please drop a comment below if you guys know. We have a 22 cornerstone uh, over at the Motor Coach store we'll look at later today. But really nice that you can control all of your lighting, your shades, your climate control, all from right here. I like that. And I like the full length mirrors too when you're getting ready. Always good to have those full length mirrors. But I'm seeing a huge rear bathroom back here. What's going on back there? So your master suite in this vehicle is pretty comfortable. Not only do you have the huge shower and dual vanities built in, but there's space enough to have a full length closet there in the back with the cedar lining and everything else. Washer dryer back like here that. too. So your master suite has a little bit of everything. That's one reason why this is the most popular American Eagle floor plan is that it is designed for somebody who does need more storage. You know, you look at the G or the E, other floor plans for this, you don't get nearly the storage while also keeping all the space you have there. So that really does bring most of our customers to this floor plan. Is this an emergency egress door? Yes, this egress door will fold out and go down to the ground here and then on the bottom of these pieces, there's actually a, yeah, it feels kind of like sandpaper, but it's for grip as you're, you're going down there, God forbid. I want to go outside and look at the foundation and look at the base, but I've got to check out this shower for size here. Yeah, and I really like the black towel bars. Looks really good. The black hardware is kind of the newer style that we're seeing. Really tall shower head here too. I like that. Tall guys like myself, I've got my shoes on, still plenty of room. I'd say a guy probably 6'6 six, six could probably take a shower in here if needed. Nice little teak seat. Beautiful tile work. I like the light tile. Almost got a matte finish here on the tile. But let's go see what's going on outside. You think you can show us the chassis? Yeah, let's check it out. This is American Coach's proprietary Liberty chassis. So this is a partnership between Freightliner and American Coach to bring what you see right here. Most RVs, whether it's on a Spartan or a Freightliner, are going to come on some sort of raised rail chassis platform. It's going to have C-channel rails that connect the front and the rear axle of the vehicle. What the Liberty chassis does differently, it has these I-beams in this custom bridge that brings everything together. So I-beams are 30% stronger than the C-channel rails you see in other vehicles. So you have more rigidity and you also have some customization in design that makes a huge difference. You have a fuel tank that's mounted in the middle instead of all the way up front. So it gives you a little bit more stability in your weight distribution when you can have a tank that's empty or full and it doesn't make a huge difference on your front axle. What's the size of the fuel tank? This is 150 gallons. 150, okay, so I know the King Air is at 200. It's still 150 gallons. Yeah. It's a pretty large fuel tank. While we're talking tank size, I forgot to ask you inside the coach, fresh, gray, black, what's the holding tank capacity? Fresh is 100 gallons, gray is 75, and your black tank is 50 gallons. It's pretty good. Pretty good size. Um, something unique about those tanks, if you look right here, is that they have what they call the wedge block design. So these tanks are wedged in and angled up so you can maximize the storage you have and also increase the amount of flow. So when they're tilted up the way they are, things just drain out a little bit quicker. You don't see it here, but on each of the American Coach vehicles, it is going to also have a macerator built in. That's usually going to be mounted right in here, but you have the macerator on these tanks. The other side of the Liberty chassis is the Freightliner component systems they use. So up front, you have a 20,000 pound weight independent front suspension system with a 60 degree wheel cut. Your drive axle is a 24,000 pound V-Ride. What makes the V-Ride a little bit different than previous axles? 
axles is that it has these additional torsion bars that connect the center pump into the sides of your chassis frame rails. What it does for you is added roll stability. So you don't have a coach that teeter totters the same way. And then your tag axle is a 14,000 pound steerable tag. So the combination of your independent front suspension and steerable tag axle is what Freightliner calls ultra steer, which gives you 17% better turn on turn radius. Now so, is that an active steer or a passive steer? That is a passive steer. Okay, so like the Newell coaches actively steer when you're in reverse, this is just gonna kind of follow a little different system than we see in the Newells. Yes, if you go into reverse, what it does is it releases pressure from your airbags up there so you don't get the same tire rub, but it isn't actually going to steer in reverse. So the biggest difference it makes is when you're making an active turn. It will passively steer with that independent front suspension so you have very tight maneuverability. Continuing with the components here, you have the Cummins X15. So this is a 605 horsepower engine, 1950 for torque, pairs with the Allison 4000 to give you a 20,000 pound tow rate. So lots of power, great components built in here. You have the side radiator, which gives you much better access to your maintenance items here on the back. Altogether, what you have with the Liberty Bridge chassis is a very rigid, strong chassis with great built-in components, all Freightliner. Freightliner's on-guard system does have adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, you have built-in tire pressure monitoring as well. The one other piece you're gonna see on every American coach is Freightliner's brake sync, so it does have a built-in air braking system hookup right there as well. I really like the paint scheme on this coach, the size of the pinstripes, and the amount of pinstripes. You've got some kind of cool lines, a lot more stripes than you see in other coaches. Beautiful stainless down the side, a very thick stainless strip as well. Chrome baggage door handles. It looks like an exterior entertainment. One of the best things about this coach, the biggest advantage that I'm seeing that I like over the Cornerstone and the King Air is the perforated vinyl on the windows right here. Huge upgrade. They've done a few things to try to give it a very seamless look. You know, you have the roof ducted awning system with Gerard built in here. They've even taken the buttons off of this so there's a little electronic switch that will pop this open. And then when these slides come in, they're completely recessed into the wall. So you don't have that big overlap that you see on a lot of different vehicles. Everything comes together to give it a very seamless, clean look. Bay one, lots of storage. What's all going on in these bays? Well, on both of your front two bays, since you have that fuel tank mounted in the middle of the vehicle, you have motorized slide trays. So these go out of both sides. You just push a little button right here and it'll pop out for you. They are full pass through. As you move back to your third bay here, this is where your fuel tank is mounted in the middle. But on your passenger side, you have the hydraulic reservoir for your leveling system and for the hydraulic jacks. This has both hydraulic and air leveling. Moving back from here, this is an important one here. You have your battery bank. So this is eight 100 amp hours lithium dragonfly batteries. That is a huge battery bank for a big RV. Might as well match. Now, is that an option or is that standard? This is the option called battery package upgrade. So standard, it comes with 800 amp hours of AGMs, but you can option in for the lithiums in place of them. How expensive of an option is that? I believe it's $11,000 uh, MSRP for that option. So the real cost of that is going to be a portion of that. Now, that's just the upgraded batteries or is there more solar and more uh, hardware to go along with those? lithium batteries? Well, you have the 360 watts of solar power standard as part of the tech package. So they kind of go different there. Each of them will have 360 watts either way. Moving back from here behind what you see here, you have your water tanks, black, gray, and fresh water tank, but you just have your automatic transfer switch and some exterior controls in this bay here. Yeah, and I really appreciate that chassis that you guys have set up where we were able to see exactly what's behind this wall, the way those holding tanks are tucked in there. And this is a nice utilization of of that space. Moving back from there, you have your 24,000 pound V-Ride, the 14,000 pound steerable tag axle. And then in this last bay, on your passenger side there, you have your two chassis batteries, your DEF tank, and then some more chassis maintenance portions. Now over here, I'm noticing my, my, my ADD is kicking in here, but I see an American dream. I still believe to this day that this is the best name of any motorhome ever built. <laughs> the American dream, that's what we're all living, right? That's right. Now, what's the difference between the American American Dream and the American Eagle? Well, this is a Dream 45. So as far as the chassis goes, the only difference would be that this has a 17,000 pound front end 
and this has a 20,000 pound front end. But this still has a 605, still has a 4,000 Allison, still tows 20,000 pounds, has the on-guard adaptive cruise control. So what brings a lot of folks to that vehicle is that it is basically the most affordable new 605 chassis you can get. What's the price on this coach? I think we have that one at 649 if I'm remembering right. Is that MSRP or? No, MSRP on this is going to be, at, I think, 918. I'm going purely off of memory right there. So there's a pretty big jump. I think you can get one of these right now for 599. Pretty significant difference. That's got to be definitely the least expensive 605 new motorhome that money can buy. Let's keep taking a look at this Eagle here. Does the American Dream have the emergency egress door? It does. It does nice. have an exit door just like this. Moving from the back, you see your emergency door. This is a driver's side def fill. This is going to be a potable water fill for your fresh water tank. This is going to be your service base. So in this, from right to left, you have your switch for your macerator. You have your power electric reel, your power water reel, your whole house water filtration system. Of course, you have your adjustments for your water tank, cold water and hot water drains. You have a black and a gray tank flush, outside shower, and then you can see here your built-in macerator system. So all very easy to access. This is the 600D Aqua Hot system. Most coaches are gonna have a 400 or a 450. What makes the 600 different is that it has two electric heating elements and it has a larger overall capacity. So it can push more heat exchangers to more places. You just have better heating power. This is also tied into the engine heat. So you can heat your engine block or use your engine's heat to heat your coach either way. Pretty convenient feature there. Moving into your next bay here, this is just some additional storage, but you do have the UV light outlet built into here and your central vac. And then of course the reservoir for your aqua hot fluid. Your next two bays, this is the other side of your full pass-throughs with your controls so they can go out of either side right there too. And then the last bay that you have in the vehicle is right up here. This is just a chassis service bay. You have your gin slide control, your air lines, and an air service line, and then just your windshield wiper fluid. There's what size generator does this have? This has a 12,500 watt generator. So the 12.5 even with the lithium battery is a lot of power on board. That's right. Nice. Tommy, I appreciate you showing us the best of the best you've got here. Now, if someone is a serious and qualified buyer and they want to purchase one of these American coaches, who can they get a hold of? Get a hold of me. Give me a call on my cell. That's 561-348-4231. I'm happy to answer any questions you have and help you live the American dream in an American Eagle. <laughs> and really, the real star of the show, the real important question is, yeah. if someone needs to buy some liquefied, what's the best way to do they, it? They can go to primepoopinposition.com, pick up a bottle on Amazon. There is one last thing I want to say. My show's Matt's RV Reviews, but without people like Tommy at General RV to help me with a whole bunch of product, my show wouldn't be to where it was. So that's why we love to have Tommy on my show as well. And I didn't want to dabble into this because this is that next level buyer for us at the dealership. So we want you to get in contact with Tommy or any one of our American coach specialists here at General RV in Tampa. Yeah, Tommy took great care of us. Thanks again for getting us set up with Tommy. Really appreciate you guys. Greatly appreciate all of you subscribing to the channel and Matt's channel as well. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks for having me. Always appreciate it when you come into town, Andrew. Thanks again. My pleasure.